Why did J.P. Morgan Chase spend tens of millions to upgrade their headquarters to the highest environmental standard only to demolish it six years later? The Union Carbide Building at 270 Park Avenue was a modern skyscraper from 1961, and one of the first led by a female designer, Natalie de Blois, was meant for 3,500 people but had 6,000 working there. In Midtown, where land is rare and expensive, tearing down the existing building to construct a larger one is a more affordable choice. That is why J.P. Morgan decided to build a larger skyscraper in the same spot. They hired Foster and Partners to design a new 70-story, 2.3 million square feet skyscraper for 15,000 employees. It will be New York's largest all-electric building with zero emissions. However, with more people working from home and changes in office use, this decision has led to some questions. Visit my website to learn more.